Hello everyone, Rissy Toothpick here, back again with something new called Medieval Dynasty. Came out today, early access, has a little bit of issues, but not too bad. We're going to jump into it. I played a little bit just to kind of get a little feel of it, but I haven't built a village or anything like that. In fact, I haven't even built a building yet, so let's just jump in there. I used to have a simple life. Whatever needed doing round the farm, I'd do it. <laughs> Being the eldest son, it's tough. But at least we had a living, and our plates were never empty. Then, the war came. I lost everything overnight. The last thing I remember is father pushing me away yelling for me to run, to live. At first, I didn't know what to do. Then, I remembered. A story my mother once told me. A story about my uncle, Jordan. He made a modest fortune up north, in a peaceful valley far away from the war. For weeks, I held on to that thought. Until the valley from my mother's stories, I could see it. This is where I can start a new life. Alrighty, so now we're jumping in there. Apparently there are bears, deer, hogs. We can go hunting. Hopefully not get eaten. It's a good chance we are going to get eaten. And here we are. And I uh, never actually looked back here. Interesting. But anyways, let's go down this way because we do have a quest. We open up a tab. It's going to tell us all this stuff journal talent points i haven't leveled up anything like that so i don't know how that works our inventory our map not too bad apparently you can have a wife and a child our management if we have a, a village Technology for better buildings or easier ways of hunting. I think that's decent right now. But yeah, hope, hopefully you enjoy the game. It's a very beautiful game. You know, I can't really deny that. And it being like early access, there's a lot of potential here of growth. So I feel like this is going to be one of those big games. It's going to take like, you know, 10 years, but when it happens... It's going to be a good game. And while we're going down here, we're going to start picking up some sticks and stuff because we're going to need it. Uh, mushrooms you can eat, I believe. And rocks are a bit hard to find, but we definitely want to have at least two of them. Because we're going to have to build something here pretty soon. It took me so long to figure out how to build. In fact, I've already forgot Q. Yeah, crafting. Yeah, make sure. Q is important. <laughs> like, no doubt about it. Oh, my. But yeah, let's get out of that. Got some rocks for me. And keep on moving here. Let's see, what is that? A broadleaf plantain? Those should be good for medicine, right? You make, like, a bandage or, like, a, a thing to stop... Are preventing uh, infection and cuts, I think. Not for sure. I never used them before. And rock. Yeah, there we go. That's what we want. Just like any game, rocks are hard to find. If you have too many issues, you can, like, turn down the foliage. So you can see the ground more often. Because I can tell you right now, it's really hard to find rocks around that uh, village. We have a good amount of rocks. Decent amount of sticks. Let's go talk to the... The boss here, the Castellan. Usually he's in front of like this uh, tavern. I'm going to call it a tavern. He's sitting on a chair. He's right there. 
And let's see what he can tell us. Hello there. Ooh, Armenia, age 59. Wrong one. He moved. <laughs> Last time I played, he was right there. So he does move. Hey, stranger, what brings you to our valley? You don't look like a merchant or pilgrim. No, I'm not. Rasimir is my name, and I came from the south looking for my Uncle Lorden. In his old home, they called him Lorden the Raftsman. Lorden, ah, yes. He told me once about his life on the river. You came to the right place, but a few years too late, I'm afraid. Why that? What happened to my uncle? He was a great man and an even better friend, Rasimir. As a good craftsman and an excellent trader, he made a small fortune here. See the tavern over there? He built and ran it, as well as many other shops you will find in the valley. My mother told me that he got wealthy in the north. I had no idea how wealthy, but that doesn't answer my question. Your uncle got himself killed, my friend. He had this idea of a huge trade with the German kingdom in the west. Five carts filled with the best iron ore, beautiful colored linen, and our excellent beer. Pulled by tin oxen, he was not fooling around, I can tell you that much. So what happened? How did he die? His trek got ambushed by bandits, his carters slaughtered. He must have put up a good fight, took two with them, to death. From what we saw when we searched for him, I buried him myself or better. What the wolves were left behind. I'm sorry to be the bearer of such news. My uncle is dead? His wealth is gone? I came all the way here for nothing. Don't say that. I wouldn't let a nephew of Lorden go to waste, and even if most villagers forgot fast what they owe your uncle, I have no intention to join them here. I'm the Castellan, and my world word still carries weight, so tell me, can you build your own fortune? I can craft simple tools, I can collect my necessities from the wilderness, I know how to count and to barter. That's good enough. I may not have goods or gold to offer, but you can have as much land here as you want, not sold but granted to you for life. Build a house, grow vegetables, keep some livestock, and follow your uncle's dream. Are you serious? My own land? As much as I want? As much as you put to good use, my boy. And as long as you can pay your taxes. I understand. Do you have any advice for me to start with? You can cut down trees to build your house. Reeds grow by the river. It will work well for a roof. Do you have some food with you? Not much. If, necess if necessary... You will find several vendors in our village. If you don't have any money for food, you can always look for mushrooms in the forest or hunt animals. Maybe we could earn some coins somehow. Sure, you can talk to people here or in other villages. Maybe someone will pay for your help. Thank you so much for the advice. It's time for me to find the right place. Let me see. I have something special for you. This is the hammer your uncle used to build the house in which he grew old. What better tool could he use to build your first home here? Thank you very much. See you next time. Construction wheel, that's important. That cue. Inventory inspector mode. Smack him a little bit. Look at that woman sitting there. You know what? They actually did decent on their uh, their face and stuff like that. Like You can't go wrong with that. Alright, well, we have that. There's some missions there. Dynasty population is only me. Building a limit of only one. So we need to make a stone axe. There we go. Now, this is all new. We could probably want to equip it. And we want to cut down five trees. So, I mean, uh, we probably want to build it like where our house is going to be. So, where are we? We're right here, huh? Maybe get something like over here? Yeah, maybe. I think there's, what, that's a river? I don't know if this is like what we're supposed to do, but... I kind of want some space. I kind of wanted it far away from this village. If I look at the map, there's two towns here. This is probably a bridge. So you know what? If we could have a village like right in here, I feel like that would be, that would work. You know what I mean? We'll find out.
<laughs> like this is all brand new so we're gonna be picking things while we're like rolling that way oh yeah they have goose and they have cows here as well look at that cow where's the geese ah oh, look at you yeah two thousand dollars hell no you're robbing me daylight robbery pretty much two thousand gold pieces oh look at this they're growing is there seed in there yeah there's definitely seed there yeah here we go I'm, I'm thinking somewhere over there would be a good place to grow we'll use the road or the pathway as well gotta kind of breathe here Of course, then again, worst case scenario, we have to go to like pre-made uh, building slots, which could be a thing. But as long as we're by the river, there's reeds there. Oh, I wasn't expecting this, a little river here. But this is what I'm talking about. Something like right in here. see here this is it's actually probably better on the other side because it's a little bit more like fields Let's see what we can do here all right so it takes what like 10 hits all right we got to get our stamina back guys about to die get some berries here unripe so probably increases our hunger but not by much all right get the berries Let's see what happens here. We cut a tree. Okay, so he's down. Don't know what happens now. Okay, we got some sticks. And we got some logs. Alright, good. Let's get another one going here. Maybe. It's like playing Minecraft the very first time. You don't know what to do. I've got another one here. We might as well just cut them down and then come back later. There we go. Three. Should be good once we get these two. You guys getting tired? Definitely going to upgrade that stamina because, my God, he can't even cut down one tree without getting tired. Of course, in real life, I would understand... It'd probably take us like all day to cut down this big old tree with a stone axe like this. Alright, now let's get some straw. We'll holster our axe here. And, ooh, not good. The reeds. Are these reeds? Yes, they are. Okay, good. I was a little worried. There is a lot of reeds over there by the village. But we have a little bit here, which is great. We're just gonna like deforest all the reeds on this river. All right, we got that. All right, so now building, we want a house. Not enough technology. Okay, so we can't build, build your first house. Yeah, so we can't do that, huh? This is a simple one. Oh, not enough resources. Oh, we need the logs on us, maybe? Oh, water's becoming an issue. Yeah, okay, so we can pick up logs. Our guy's, uh... He's practically Superman. He can just, like, hold on to logs. He doesn't give. He's like, hell no, give me them logs. I don't care. Oh, God. Don't kill me pick up these logs. I was a little worried there, but we can definitely build our first house. Okay, are we going to need more? Okay, so we can build a simple house here. Okay, this is the door. Thinking... What am I thinking? Okay, so we can't build, like, nothing over here. Don't know why. 
But we can build something right here, weirdly enough. Sure. There we go. Alright, we're gonna need the hammer. Let's go to our inventory. Wooden hammer. Equip that bad boy at two. Oh my. Wall to wall with the door. Okay, sure. We can edit it, but I think this is great. You know, I think this will work. Just smack it. It's slowly but surely getting in there. It's not bad. We're going to need some more logs, unfortunately. Go back to one. And you know, once we like figure out the game, we might move, of course, our be like our second settlement, I suppose, but as long as we're having a good time, that's all that matters. Oh, oh, whole different maple tree here. I'll say smack them. There's a lot of, I think there's another maple tree nearby because there's a lot of uh, leaves in the way. Yeah, we might as well. Oh, I think we're, we got too much weight. Also, maybe want to drink some water? Thought he had a... Guess not. I thought he had like a, um... Like a water pouch on him. But I guess not. What does these do? Plus 5% chance of poison. My god. How's our food? If our food is okay, we need some water. Hold on, but we need to build some of our house because we're over encumbered. Get my wooden hammer out as I slowly prowl towards the house. Man, it's a scrawny thing, too. That's what I'm talking about. It only takes one log. I think we're getting it, though. At least stamina is not as bad. And hopefully, building our house way out here won't be an issue. We're out of sticks. Alright, let's get some water. See if we get, like, poisoned or something. I don't think so. I think it's, like, uh, early on enough where we don't have to worry about that. Let's get some more sticks. Can we destroy these rocks? I don't think we can. Certain rocks, it'll tell you, like, uh, you need a pickaxe. Certain ones, it doesn't even give you that option. But sorry, we probably don't want our house being too close to the bridge. But we'll clean up a little bit. Can we smack this? Can we, like, get rid of it? I don't think we can. It's gonna be in our way forever. It's gonna haunt me in my dreams. So, new level and survival. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I mean, we can only do tier one. 15% bigger resistance to poison might be pretty good. One plus skill point from survival activities. I mean, early on here, I mean, I guess we'll go with that one. So now we'll get skill points, I guess, or more skill points, maybe. We might be able to go here now, or we might have to fill up this one all the way, and then we can move on. Not for sure there. But nice to have more. We don't have anything else, unfortunately. But we'll keep on moving. To the hammer. That's right. Get them sticks in there. And the house is coming out nicely. I'm glad that they're like pre-made too. Because I have hard times building houses. Let me tell you. Oh, this is unfortunate. We're going to definitely need more logs. Well, we'll start putting some in here. Or at least the sticks. 
All right, let's go cut down some more trees. Let's go for some of these like real close to the house. There we go. Probably get should have gotten like resistance to poison. But figure out are you going are you coming down? <laughs> like let me hit you. There we go. One more time. Got stuck in another tree. Uh oh. The music stopped playing. Alright, let's go back here. Alright, what do you got for me? A log there, a log there. We need one more log. And then we'll be on just, uh, we just need a whole bunch of sticks after that. Oh, come on, maple tree. Don't play me like that. There we go. Smack it while it's going down. Hold on. Let him breathe. Oh my, he's got that, like, uh, super strong hit. We picked up all of the logs there at one time. Alright, so we need that one. We have four. Oh, it's straw. We need straw. Okay. Anything with sticks? Right here. Straw, straw. Should be simple enough. Let us just holster our hammer and start picking the reed. If we look at the map. We're like right here. I think this is a pretty good spot. I mean, if you were from Costova and you were like, hey, I'm going to go to Barrow, you're either going to go, we're probably going to take this bridge, but you might go this way. You never know. I mean, we really need to build it up a little bit more down over here. We'll start here, maybe build one like right here. You know, if it's easy to build, you know, villages, we'll slowly make our way. And we'll see what, you know, limitations we have. We're going to need a lot of straw here, so I'm just going to pick a good amount here. Probably until we start getting a little heavy down or weight down or I get bored here. Food is an issue now. All right, let's go see what we're looking at. Alrighty, we have 15. That's plenty. Boom. Ooh, and we get a chest free. Ooh, hoo, hoo, I see. Well, then we can put the straw, definitely. Transfer all of it. And the log as well. I don't think we're going to be needing a log. Oh, wait, hold on. I want the rocks. We only have three rocks. Might as well hold on to them. Perfect. Let's go into crafting. We probably going to need this. Yeah, I would assume. Like a wooden hoe? I mean, we can do all types of things, but we probably need seeds, so let's make that. Just to have. Set a trap. Rabbit trap. Wooden spear. Hunt a wild animal. Crafting. What do we need for that wooden spirit? Just one log. Okay. Let me get my log back out. Because apparently we're going to need it. We'll put that on like three or something, I think. Go here to inventory. Wooden spear. And then... Let's look at the spear. Oh, just a piece of wood sharpened. All right. Now, let's see. Bunny trap is just sticks. We can make it. Let's go out here. Let's make a... What is that? I'm assuming that's a log. Let's make a bunny trap, like, right out here in this little thicket. Maybe, like, right here. Might work enough for sure. Should be fine. Alrighty, I don't know if we'll ever catch a, a rabbit, but... Okay, we can throw our spear, we can jab. Probably need to be sneaky. Well, we can probably, like, run off first. On the map is our house there. If I go to management... 
it does tell us here. Move in. Oh, I guess we can move in in different. We have more buildings though, which is great. We can have three people. Okay, we got that. And it's also on our inventory, which is great. It is getting dark though, I'm a little worried about that. Man, where are these animals at? I'm gonna have to go back to the village and kill one of their cows or geese. I'm gonna be like, don't mind me, I'm just sneaking into your village to kill your livelihoods. We're gonna run deeper into the forest here. Let's make sure nothing's running. Yep. We're having a little bit of an issue here. Survive for a season. Oh. What is that? Is that a bison? Okay, I don't know. I don't think we can take out a bison. There are some deer. So, I'm going to go a little bit higher and see what the fall is. Okay, so the fall isn't bad. It's not great either. And if we do the left alt, should show us. Yeah, wooden spear right there. Okay, so the bison doesn't care. There are four seasons, spring, summer, autumn, and winter. The seasons change automatically after three days. Harvesting times of different cereal and vegetables. Availability of wild food resources including berries and mushrooms. There are different temperatures during the various seasons, so you need to have suitable clothes ready for these. You can sleep in your bed or by the fire between 7 p.m. and 7 a.m. Seem fire that the fire does not restore health. Sleeping in your bed restores your HP a little. Okay, let us equip that. Let's try to get close up to this deer. Is there a buck? I think that's a buck right there. Oh, I think I missed. Son of a bitch. But apparently you can almost run up right to a deer. Or what? How is our wooden spear all the way up there in that tree? Uh, okay, well. Yes, run away, you damn deer. <laughs> when I get this maple tree taken care of, you're dying. So we definitely need to get better on the, uh, the attacking. Okay, you're still up there. Smack him. Okay, what, what happened to our spear? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. You're still up there. <laughs> you're, you gotta be kidding me. Well, it's alright. We can get a log. All it takes is a log. In fact, we better make, like, two spears. You know, we learned our lesson. If we go three, it's not there anymore. Just make two of them. We learned our lesson about them spears. Oh, what did I do? I hit equip, yeah. It was weird. There we go. Three, we have it now. There's a buck. All right, so we might get its antlers and that we can use the antlers possibly for something else. It's getting a little dark though, unfortunately. Okay, hold on now. I'm thinking this guy right here. Got him, I hit him. I hit him twice. He's still going though. Does he have an issue uh, with moving now? I have an axe. Let's see if we can hit him with the axe. He's running, all right. He's got a spear in his leg. Look at him go. Oh, we're right on to him. Hey, 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 hey. Oh. Damn, we missed. Will you die by any chance from like blood loss? I don't think you will. Can we get our spear back? I think we can. Oh. So close. We do have a torch, but I really want my spear. You mind giving me my spear? I don't want to get another log. Got it. Oh, I missed. 
Should be right here. Where'd he go? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. We have to hit this guy like three times? I lost him. Actually, does he still have a spear in him? I think that's him right there. Looks like him. Nope, keep on moving. We're onto him. <laughs> He's... Oh, I missed. Damn, our stamina is so bad. Stamina, just terrible. Yeah, so. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. We need, like, three or four wooden spears on us. Or we need to shoot, like, towards the head, probably. Oh, oh shit. Punch him. <laughs> He's I just like ran into this guy. Oh, we're dead. We get killed by uh, a bison. And we're dead. Well, that's a good way to end it, huh? Load, load game. We didn't even save. Yeah, so like we would have to start all over again. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. We just got killed by bison, apparently. Don't go hunting at night and have more than like two uh, spears on you at all times. Probably need like five or ten. Anyways, hope you enjoyed. I'll see y'all again in the next one.